Hello, visionaries. It's Mashara Bianca, the vision midwife, and welcome to this episode of Birthing Chair. Today, I have a lady who is going to help you secure the bag, honey. She's going to talk about getting these coins, what you need to do to get your money right so that you can run this business. Please welcome Grant Guru and chairwoman of the Pine Hills Community, Community Business Incubator, Beverly Burgett. <laughs> welcome, Miss Beverly. Welcome, welcome. Y'all need to struggle. Let me just say this first of all. I'm sorry to be late. But she got new stuff. I got some new stuff. Y'all know the Texas fell through. <laughs> Texas fell. So bought some new equipment. Didn't know how to work it, but that's okay because we moving and we're going to keep talking. So Beverly, welcome. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Thank I'm you. glad to have you on the show. I'm excited to speak with you. Thank you. Um, because we got a lot of people who want to know about securing the bag. That's the new thing we say now, securing the bag. Get them coins. Get them coins, coins. right. <laughs> so Beverly, give us a background of who you are before we move right into the show. Uh, I worked for the state of Florida for 12 years. I worked for the Department of Labor Bureau, Bureau of Apprenticeship. Uh, my job was designing programs to put people to work. Okay. Some of the largest contracts I worked with was NASA, Lockheed, Mark Marietta, Orange County. Wow. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Run out. JATC Still Workers of America. I Workers of America. I, I co wrote the programs. Okay. And uh, the daycare program that you see on the books today, I co wrote that before William Living Good retired. Okay, all yeah. right. And so, um, how do we move into to doing grants? Because that's what the folk want to know. So Everybody wants to know. How did you get here? Okay, so. 12 years for the state of Florida, three governors, Lawton Childs, Charlie Chris, you know, uh, Bob worked with Bob Graham and a little bit of work, you know, off and on with Rick Scott, actually four governors. And then I moved into HUD um, housing, which Section 8 housing is private Section 8. And I wrote grants for housing, but for private owners. Okay. For okay. private owners. So then I, you know, I just took all my knowledge and experience. People were calling me, asking me questions and saying, how do I get it? First thing you've got to do, you've got to incorporate with the state of Florida. Okay, so don't run past that because okay. we got some folk who, who they don't know what all that means. So when you say incorporate with the state of Florida, what exactly does that mean? That means like whatever your business name is going to be, you have to pay the state of Florida, whether it's an incorporation or an LLC, mm -hmm. that 78 75 or that right. 168 and you have to establish yourself in the system with them so in other words Mashar bianca llc because it's a real thing look it up it's incorporated with the state so that's, that's what you that's mean it. that's so great. for all of you who are thinking about um running a business and you want to have grant money and that kind of stuff the first thing you have to do is incorporate okay, with, with the, the state, state of florida so let me help you understand what that means if you have not gone to sunbiz.com or dot org or, oh, yeah then you're not incorporated you're that's not pretty incorporated. much what we're saying all right come on through and then what you have to do is go to www.rs.gov take your name that you've selected and get an ein number ein what does that do with us now how, how that work what's the that's EIN? an employer identification number which identifies you in the system if you're going to go non-profit because when you're saying you want a non-profit status the um and IRS is going to check to make sure that your name is in their database. Okay. So if I wanted to, to get this grant money, do I have to have a nonprofit? Can I get, like I have an LLC. Can I apply for there grants, are grants with There are grants for for-profit businesses and non-profit businesses. Talk about the difference. Because who out here trying to do a job that ain't making no money? <laughs> okay. Who out here trying to run a business that oh, ain't making okay. no money? So I need to know the difference. Okay. Let me, let me give you the real deal. Okay. Okay. So it, let's say you have a business. You own a hair salon. And you want to expand your business. Shout out to Chanel, uh, she royal, she on here, she on the house. <laughs> okay. Go ahead on. So, uh, depending on where your business is located, you could be sitting in a HUD zone. HUD zone means it's federally funded. That's uh -huh. money allocated for your area. That's this. Start right there. So, if it's a federal HUD zone, you know we're going to start naming some areas. So, why don't you give us an example? Example of what a HUD zone area would be zone, in Orlando. HUD zone would be like District Five, Virginia District Hill, Five, Virginia Hills District, and that would be that good old uh, Paramore, Paramore area. area, Orange Center, Rock Lake, uh, Malibu, West, Westmoreland, Westmoreland, Westmoreland Murphy West Drive, Lake, all of that, all of that. Okay, is, come on, at, is you know a HUD zone, Pine Hill, Pine Hill, Richmond High. Yes. All right, come on. Okay, mm -hmm. so you are sitting in a HUD zone. The city and the county, what people make the mistake on a for-profit business, the city and the county have grants. And where you make your mistake is you don't even go down and talk to your county or city commissioner to see what they have to help your business grow. 
like in Regina's district, she has a MEBA grant that they will come in and reimburse you up to $40,000. Say what now? They will reimburse you up to $40,000. For what? To what? establish that you've established that business in that zone. They need to run me my money. <laughs> Yes. Regina Hill, I'm coming for my money. <laughs> so, so you have the city grant. You have money from the county. Go talk to your county commissioner. The Orange County has grants. See what grants that are available through the county to help improve your business or help your business grow. Wow. So you have a city grant. You have a county grant. Then there are state grants. Come on, throw state down. grants are allocated for certain areas. So. So when you look at your area, mm -hmm. you may be eligible for a state grant. Then there's the federal grant. Federal, that's that money. We like fed dollars. That's right. And for you, most federal grants are on the books for three to five years. So that's money that can be allocated to your minority hair salon business. Come on, come on. In the so area, hair salon business. Like I ain't gonna call your name no more, friend, but you you listening. I need you to hear this. Come on. Okay. Now there's one, there's two more grants you can get. You got city, county, state, federal. There's corporate grants. Corporations give away money to help your business grow because depending on what they made, if they don't get rid of a certain amount, they're taxed 55%. Now let's talk about corporate. When you talk about corporate, uh, you know, though, that's a big word. So what, can you give us an example? Corporate of grants like Coca-Cola, Walmart, oh. Oh. SunTrust. Oh. Our banks have what we call CRA grants, Community Reinvestment Grants, wow. up to $200,000. You are reinvesting in your community. Go to your bank and say, I need the form for the community reinvestment wow. grant or act. Wow. Banks have them because it was a law that Obama put on the books before he before he left office. That's still on the book. That's still, That's on, still, the still books. on the books. Okay. okay. Corporations have money. Depending on what you're doing in your community to help people, corporations will get behind you and say, I'll fund you for a year, three years, five years. Well, Beverly and I are going to be talking after this here show over because <laughs> this girl needs some coinage because everything she hit on, we can do that. But so why is it, why do you think that we, we being black women, um, African American predominantly, we don't know about the grant? Because when I started teaching June 15th last year, most people didn't know where to look. Okay. So if you don't know where to look, you don't know where to go and ask. But a lot of people in our community, we don't read. You need to start reading and asking questions. You be surprised at what white communities go out there and get. Look at Lake Nona. The Trash Brothers started that. They found out they could get HUD money. Lake Nona went from being dirt. Look at Lake Nona now. Wow. And that's in under five years. Right. Because they, they got HUD money allocated for a veteran hospital. They got a children's hospital. Wow. They put homes out there. You've got to ask questions and you've got to read. Okay, okay. And I, I, I hear that. I hear that. Um, so take us to, to how you got in. So you, you were doing great for this, doing things for the state, state. and now you're self-employed. Well, I, I, I teach. I volunteer my time. Okay. I volunteer my time and I teach because I want people to be informed as to what's out here. Okay. That you don't need to go into your 401k. You don't need to get a bank loan. You don't need to go broke. Wow. You need to go just ask for some forms and ask for some help. Even Pete Clark, who's running for Orange County Mayor, said, here's my email. Here's my cell phone number. If you have a problem getting this grant, come see me. You got Orange County commissioners like Pete Clark that if you have a problem getting a grant, he's going to go and ask why you're not allocating that grant. Every dime that you see on the books wow. comes from the federal level. Okay, okay. It comes down. Everything the state of Florida gets is allocated from the federal level. Now, let me ask you this. I, um, it, because we are minority business owners, majority of my tuners right. and viewers are minority, is there, do, does that put us at a better... Um, position to get going. Believe it or not, it does. Okay. Because being a woman-owned business, you either own a hundred percent or fifty-one percent. Go get your minority certifications from the city, from the county, the state. Hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. So what? What? What certifications? Minority certifications. What? What's that now? It's a free. It's a document that's free unless okay. they don't start charging for it. Okay. That identifies your business in that area as a minority. That's a thing. Yes, it is. Who knew that? Because I got <laughs> We out here running businesses and we can get a whole certification. Yes, yeah, see? 
you can get county, you can get state, and you can get federal. Wow. Wow. And it, so that having a, that allows what now? It's a, it opens you up to more business, more contracts with the government. Benson, you will, you will have first dibs on a lot of contracts coming through the city and the county. Wow. It's just a matter of, of you reading and asking questions. Wow. How do you think some of the businesses got started downtown? You know, especially white businesses. Right. They go and ask questions and say, if I put this business, okay, let me give you an example. Let's say um, a subway in downtown Orlando. Right. He's going to look at the zone and how much business he's going to make in that area mm -hmm. before he opens his door. Right. Because that business is going to be open seven days a week. So depending on where that business is located and the funds he can get, money is allocated. Wow. Wow. Okay, that just blew my mind. I had no idea. So you telling me mm -hmm. that I could try to allow my little happy self down here to the one, county, city, city, and state and get say, a certificate? I want to inquire about minority certification. Okay, for my business. Somebody write that down. Minority <laughs> certification. certification. <laughs> right, mama, ma, 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 mama on here. Ma, write that down because we need to know that we minority need minority certifications. certifications. Okay. So minority certifications allows us to get in position to be able to receive that money. Receive that money and it opens up other doors. Let's say you want to do something internationally. Yes, because okay. you know she is a world traveler. <laughs> Come on, don't talk about it. Tell me how I can do this. Tell <laughs> me, because I am all in. This is my good year. Love so it. let's say, you know, and once you're in the state and the federal databases, that opens up other opportunities for you to receive grants to get grants like if you want to go do business in Italy or Ghana mm -hmm. or Rome or anywhere. Mm -hmm. The one thing people do not understand is that the United States government has trade agreements with every country. Come on. So, so, so Michelle want to go to Africa. Now, I know that ain't a country so y'all ain't got to go there. I know it's a whole continent but I just want to go all of it. So you telling me that little girl for the 32805 zip code who got dreams of going and, and, and dancing with the people barefoot in Africa can go do that. That you can go do that. And it all starts with you just asking questions, doing some research, building your business, getting your coins, and, and you can venture anywhere. Come on through. I am just impressed. This is, I don't know how long we've been talking. And I done got, I hope, Ma, I need you to take notes. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to come back and get this information. She so, can call me anytime. <laughs> listen, because we going to work. I'm telling y'all, I'll put Beverly to work. We and, are and, working. And, and, it is out there. It's out and, there. And wow. look at your big companies like Disney. Disney has minority grants called diversity. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like so, that word, so, diversity. So, so Disney wants your business. Walmart just did an advertisement. We want your products in our stores. No matter what you really? have. Yes. Who knew that? Now I got a sister that's over here trying to develop some natural lipstick. We're not going to have to talk. So you telling me that Walmart is looking for us to come in there? Walmart has a research and development team that is amazing. They are, they, they go towards diversity and into the, really the predominantly black neighborhoods because not only does Walmart have the products we use and sell, but Walmart is connected to the people. That's right. That's Not right. just from a financial standpoint, right. but they know what products sell. Right. So they have a team that not only helps you put your product together, they position your product that when someone comes in the store, you're going to be like, wow, natural lipstick. Wow. wow. Let me go check that out. Yeah, because natural is a thing right now. Natural, natural is, is really it's everybody selling. natural. It's selling. Natural lipstick, natural hair, natural, natural, natural. 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 Just natural. <laughs> natural water. I mean, just everything is natural. If it's but, not organic or natural, people ain't buying it. Right, right, right. That's, that's absolutely amazing. So what... Let me ask you, what's one of the things, the barriers that you run into with trying to help people get grants? Well, um, people were not open to it. People were not open to it. They thought it was a scam, and I understand why. But I said, look, I'm volunteering my time. I have a contract with Orange County Library. I'm donating my time. I even did a course for five weeks, free of charge. When was that? Last year. Five weeks, mm -hmm. and I, you know, I advertised it. And I said, look, if you don't come and get the information, how are you going to ever do anything? Right. You know, so people were resistant to it. Now, everybody's jumping on the HUD bandwagon because HUD got that money. They mm -hmm. print, they printing that money, believe right. it. Right. 
So just imagine you can find a HUD house for a dollar and get into it. And HUD would give you the money to rehab. Excuse me. Huh? What business. you mean? It's a dollar. HUD uh, has a list. Yeah. One, one dollar. One buck. Oh no. And so you get the house as is and you go through the HUD process and HUD would give you the funding to rehab that house and live in it. And y'all out here paying apart. Ain't hey, nobody wants rent. to listen to me, so I stop talking. <laughs> we out here paying whole rent. Whole rent. Whole rent. You can even get HUD funding because the keywords you need to look for in the grant is community and rehabilitation. There's money for senior housing. There's money for veteran housing. There's how money for single mothers. Mm -hmm. You know, I could show you a HUD grant right now that's just sitting there, forty-three million dollars. Did y'all see my eyes twinkle? You don't need a real estate license to get the money. All you need to do is come up with a team, get you an architect, get you a planner, get you some people on your team that want the same thing you do, put Hold up some housing. Shout out to Joy again. I saw you tune in. This for you right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. And, and just put it together. How do you think Dr. Phillips came about? Wow. How do you think Windermere came about. Yeah. Okay. People collectively got together and said, you know what? We want better housing. We want this. They come together as a community mm -hmm. and they go down there and they ask their county commissioner, their city commissioner, their state rep, their congressional rep. Look, if they want your vote, make them earn it. That's right. Let me let me say this because I, I we had this conversation. Mm -hmm. So now you told me, I ain't going to say who the people are, but you said it was a group of women in another part of the city that got together and went down there and got their coins. They got their money yep. together and now they have a nice housing grant wherever they are, right? Right here in Orlando. So... Do you do you find that for African Americans it's harder for us to to come together and do this kind of stuff? It's like, harder what? for us to come together to do this kind. And I simply don't know why. I get more white people calling me than I do my own people. And I, I you know, and I had them question me and say, Beverly, you're sitting here with this knowledge. Why aren't the people from your community and why aren't the politicians? helping the community more right you know because the money is out there wow the city of orlando cannot function if those federal dollars don't come down that's how you got to think about it nothing happens without that federal money being on the table nothing wow from the city to the county to the state those three entities can't move you can't even give out a free lunch if you ain't got no federal money. She say you can't give out the free lunch, which is true. That's you right. Can, you gotta fill that for my dad, like y'all don't know y'all. And do you know free, free lunch, lunch is based on your demographics? So think about it. They take your numbers where you live, mm -hmm. put them in the system, and that's what determines the free lunch. And that's called Title One. Title that's one. that Title One. So for those of you who've, who've heard of Title One, that's exactly what that means, and they're pri primarily in black neighborhoods, schools. So yeah. if you're going to be in my neighborhood, why not? Me, why shouldn't I have a business where I live? Why shouldn't I own a piece of the rock? Right. Lord, this is just enlightening. It got my whole, she done snatched my edges, <laughs> y'all. She done snatched all this stuff in here. I'm like, what? If, you know, they always say own a piece of the land. Mm -hmm. I say own a piece of the rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So, so Beverly... What are you looking to do moving forward? Because, you know, you've done the classes. Or can we, are you doing any more classes? I'm going to be doing more classes. I'm going to be doing more okay. classes okay. coming up in um, June. And I'm just taking a little break right now. And I'm going to be teaching more hands-on what the terminology is, how to fill out your paperwork, how, how to use those keywords. And believe it or not, every grant has an administrator on it with a phone number. Oh. That's the person controlling the money. Oh, and they tell you how to submit the grant electronically. Wow. So we sitting here, I'm like, wait a minute. You go from ITM, which is invitation to negotiate, mm -hmm. to RFP, referral for proposal, to RFF, which is referral for funding. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Okay, some grants can be complicated. But if you got a three or four step process and you got your county commissioners and city commissioners sitting down there, and these are your tax dollars. Why are you not getting it? Yeah. This is bigger than a tax refund. Do right. you know what seven black women could do if y'all wanted to put housing together? Seven black women. That's all I need. I need. I, I listen. We can do this here. Okay. Come on, I mean, right. I mean, these women in Winter Park got together, went and asked some questions, 
all of them were white. They wanted a better community for seniors. Got eighty-four million dollars from HUD. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And if a bill is a lot. And they she want, said it's bigger than income tax return. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I'm like, okay, if they can do it, and it was just a, a collaboration of people coming together in the community, why can't we do it? Right. We want to sit up and complain. Oh, I ain't got this. I'm gonna listen, I don't want to hear that. Right. Obama put a lot of things on the books, right. okay, before right. he left office, okay? And there are some things that have been on the books since 1978. Come on. Andrea say she ready. Andrea, I'm ready, too. I'm, ready too, I'm, ready. I'm like, I listen, my whole life has just been bought back to center. Um, wow. That that's absolutely amazing. That again, and I, I think that a lot of our our um reluctance and that sort of thing comes from just not knowing. I don't think that we've been in position to know. And like you said, the reading, right. right. But you just, I just you, you just know go and ask and read. Right. And you know the beauty of about Pete Clark that's running for Orange County Mayor. If you don't understand something, he's a county commissioner. Doesn't necessarily mean you need to go to your county commissioner. Right. But go and ask somebody that has some experience in this arena. And Pete Clark, he doesn't limit himself because he's over Orange County Commissioner District Three. Right. He's like you could be from the city of Orlando. If you got a question, I'm going to get on the phone right. and say, why isn't that grant? Right. You got people out here that will help you not only get money to open your doors in your community, but you got people out here that will help you get HUD certified, get a house, get the money to rehab the house. What so what does HUD certified do for you? What, what does that do? What does that mean? If you get, like, let's say you, like, Cynthia Harris lives over in Malibu. Right. She is going to be working on something with her to get certified. Mm -hmm. Okay. That means Malibu will have additional funding from her to maintain those houses, mm -hmm. to help the seniors. There's a lot of seniors over right, there right, where right. she Absolutely. lives. Yeah. Okay. And to, to, to help the upkeep of the community. Right. Okay. How do you, why do you think Windermere and Owlsworth look the way they look? Mm -hmm. I mean, the lawn is so manicured, it's manicured better than my nails. This is true. Okay? This is true. They go and they ask, HUD funding is out there for any neighborhood. And so, when you say you can revitalize the neighborhood with HUD funding, does that mean... Um, like, like houses boarded up yeah, and stuff like that? Yes. And then you can sell those properties? You, you can, can sell rent them, rent them out. I know one guy, He he. what he does, he gets the money, he uh, puts you in a lease for two years, and in two years you got to be ready to buy a house. Mm -hmm. And he's not a real estate, he don't have a license, Come on, he just saw house. something in his community, went to her, did a proposal, and I helped him change some of the language, he got $8 million. We were out here playing with peanuts, y'all. I'm telling y'all, y'all ain't even got cashews. <laughs> <laughs> we right here playing with peanuts. <laughs> like, it's people out here really doing this thing, and and we had we have no idea. And I can I can be the first to admit to to every time I hear something about grants, I feel I get a little intimidated because I don't know the words, I don't know what they're looking for, I don't know anything. You know what I mean? So I can understand why we don't necessarily go in because when you say eight million dollars, my my whole say? body just like Come shake. Back. I'm like eight mil, mm -hmm. eight mil. You know, but again, I think I think what I wanted this show to do was be able to um, just enlighten people that there are, there's funding out here. There is not only from a banking standpoint with the Community Reinvestment Act, but you got corporations that will help your business. You got the city, the county, the state, the federal. You have got corporations. You have got everybody that's anybody that if one can't find it, somebody else will. Right. And that's the beauty of it. Is that it's out here, and when I see other communities getting ahead in my community, I'm like, well, what is the problem? Because they're doing it. They're asking those questions. I remember when Lake Nona was not but a third row. Mm. Okay. And look, go out to Lake Nona now. Right, yeah. It's one of the most exclusive areas here in Central Florida. Um, well, Again, Beverly, I thank you for being on the show because um, mm -hmm. we have to start to wrap it up because, you know, we got the time frame. Right. But before we go, there are two things that I want to do. So, first of all, I know that all of my viewers are interested. Where can they find you and get in contact with you? You can reach me at 407-692-5602. 
Okay. It's my direct sale. All right. And she pick up because I, I text and call her. She several calls times. me all the time. <clears throat> I'm gonna be calling her a little more. She gonna be tired <laughs> of me, but that's all right. That's all right. Um. So Beverly and I, we have some things that we're gonna work on together. And y'all know I'm always transparent. So, um, when we start working and things start coming in, I don't have a problem with saying this is this is what she helped me do. Absolutely. And it's just a matter of you asking questions because that's what your officials are there to do. When you business brings jobs. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. So when you're bringing jobs and you're revitalizing homes and people are living in them and it be, you know becomes a part of their community, you're saving your community. Right, 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 right. Wow. That's some good stuff there. Yeah. That's some good stuff. Well, Beverly, I don't know how often you watch the show. But for all of you who watch the show, I believe that every time somebody gives birth to a vision, that they should have a vision certificate. Okay. So today... Michelle Bianca, that's me, the vision wife, <laughs> yes. would like to present you with this vision certificate. It says, congratulations, Beverly Burgess, on birthing your vision. Grant Guru and Ch Guru and Chairwoman of the Board at Pine Hills Community Based Business Incubator. We can already talk about that because I forgot about that. Um, Michelle Bianca, the vision midwife, presents you with this certificate this day, 26th day of April in the year 2018. Really quick before we go, what is the board at Pine Hills, uh, the community-based incubator? What, what I do when I started this nonprofit just a few months ago, our goal is to help. We we teach you how to get the funding for your business, okay, and how to fill out the forms and how to, you know, pull it all together so you don't have, go in debt starting your own company. Which is okay, okay. And so I have been privileged to have someone like Lee Cockerell. Who was the former? He's the former vice president for Walt Disney. I that 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 I yeah. That's that's <laughs> and you know, he he not only teaches you certain things, but he inspires you to get motivated. And those are just some of the books he signed for me and gave to me. Okay. And you know, it's people like that I'm coming in contact that say, you know what, this is your business. You can do this, and I'm not going to let you go in debt you know to do this to do this because the, it's out there so uh to be a part of the commu the pine hills community business incubator do you have to live in pine hills no you okay. don't have to live in pine hills we're going to start having our board meetings in june okay. and i will keep you updated so we can spread the word keep everybody okay. else updated but come out and get empowered and i'm going to be having some guest speakers mm -hmm. like lee cockerell pete clark you know other county commissioners mm -hmm. and you know if Hey, if I have to write the governor again to see if I can get it, I'm going to write him. Mm -hmm. The money is there. Why aren't you getting it? Why aren't we getting it? That's the question we're going to end on. The money is there. Why aren't we getting it? I don't know about y'all, but Mashara is about to get this money, secure this <laughs> bag, ching, ching. It's stuff out here to be done. So before we go, I'm going to give you this. We're going to just you. look at the camera and smile really quickly. Okay, that's why. Thank you. Thank you. Again, before we go, repeat your phone number really quick so people know how to contact you. My phone number is 407-692-5602. Okay. All right. And that wraps up this episode of The Birthing Chair. Please tune in uh, in two weeks. I think Andrea, who is actually on here, is going to be our guest visionary. We're going to talk about HIV and black women. Uh, so that's what we'll be discussing on our next show. Awesome. Um, and remember that if you have not, if you didn't get to see this video in its entirety, it will be up on YouTube as well as you can go there and find all of the other episodes of The Birthing Chair. Thank you for tuning in, visionaries, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.